Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in Doomsday Eco Lodge in St. Croix Virgin Islands and uh, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do today. Do I go to an organic farm? Do I go to a waterfall or do I go to a beach? <coughs> but before I go I was going to take the day off today on this absolutely gorgeous Saturday, January 24, 2015, but both the mainstream media and the alternative media have held me up and I cannot take off without uh, calling your attention. Let's start out with two stories from the mainstream media, you know, Yahoo News surveys every pretty much all the mainstream media from all over the planet every day to come up with the 100 top stories on planet earth today and I'm just gonna share a couple of them we're just gonna hit two of them and then move over to alternate and I'll let you I'll let you do uh, draw your own uh, dot connecting I had to read this uh, headline several times from Yahoo Tech, Yahoo News Technology Desk. <clears throat> HTC's beautiful new flagship phone leaks again in new pics. H this beautiful new flagship phone leaks again. I didn't realize HTC's beautiful new flagship phone had leaked the first time and it begs the question what the hell is it leaking and where is it leaking it? I guess it's leaking it down your damn ear. Uh, anyway let's get to the bottom of this. HTC is having a pretty tough time keeping its newest flagship flagship smartphone under wraps but we aren't about to complain it, yeah uh, it, it's hard to keep something under wraps when you're purposefully leaking it to the press to get all of these clueless morons all over the planet salivating for this new <coughs> smartphone Okay, Fandroid, I guess Fandroid is a, uh, is a publication dedicated to fans of Android smartphones. Fans of Android smartphones have their own publication now where they can flip through pictures and I guess get a goddamn hard on looking at new photos of new Android phones. When you get tired of Penthouse and Playboy, put down your Penthouse, pick up your Fandroid, and go into a smartphone fantasy. <clears throat> okay, so Fandroid has posted the latest batch of leaked HTC One M9 photos and they pretty much confirm a lot of what we have already seen about the device. As you can see, the device really looks very similar to last year's HTC One M8 with one key difference one key difference the shape of the camera on the back of the phone is more of a square while the camera on both the M8 and the M7 were both circles you heard it here you heard it here don't say that ham on little tail never never shares with you what's really important on this planet and in case you did not hear me 
I'm going to repeat this last, uh, this last sentence, which is the highlight of the article. As you can see, the device really looks very similar to last year's HTC One M8 with one key difference. The shape of the camera on the back of the phone is more of a square, while the camera on both the M8 and the M7 were both circles. Now, does it mention the price tag? Uh, no, I don't see. I guess you're going to have to do a little more research. But uh, anyway, that was one of the top 100 biggest stories on the planet is the shape of the camera on the HTC phone has gone from a circle to a square but you can forget all about that phone because next to that article this is the Samsung Galaxy S6 unpacked alright Samsung's Galaxy S5 was a monster flagship except we've been able to put together everything you need to know about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S6 and it is shaping up to be the most the most amazing phone we have ever heard of from a CPU that is 50% faster to an incredible quad HD display Samsung hit every angle with this year's flagship phone it will also have a payment feature which works with magnetic and NFC terminals incredible cameras does not say whether the camera is square or circular and a gorgeous glass and metal body there you go the gorgeous glass and metal body I want one immediately exclamation point there you go okay so that was the mainstream media talking about smartphones so this next article <coughs> nowhere showing up on Yahoo news is top 100 stories on the planet I had to go over to alternet.org to find this one newest uh, news flash from from Edward Snowden iPhones have secret spyware that lets governments monitor unsuspecting users. <clears throat> the, NSA, the NSA whistleblower's lawyer says the secret software can be remotely activated to watch the user. <clears throat> That, that is one bored spy watching someone talking on a phone. Okay. <clears throat> the iPhone has secret spyware that lets governments watch users without their knowledge, according to Edward Snowden. The NSA whistleblower does not use a phone because of the secret software which Snowden's lawyer says can be remotely activated to watch the user. A uh, quote from uh, and Natalie Kucharina, Edward never uses an iPhone. He's got a simple phone. The iPhone has special software that can activate itself without the owner having to press a button 
and gather, meaning the phone, gather information about him. That's why on security grounds, he refuses to have this phone. And then, uh, I, I don't know what uh, this is talking about. It said that Apple has been active in making the iPhone harder for security services to spy on. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, what? How could... I, 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 I admit, this Luddite has no idea. I, I mean, Apple would have had to know goddamn well that they were putting something in there that these government spies could activate. I'm not quite ready to bring out the bullshit button, detector button. Uh, they're claiming that Apple is trying to uh, fix this problem. Recently published files from the NSA showed that British spy agency, uh, a British spy agency, used the phone's UDI, UDIDs, whatever that is, which is the unique identifier that each phone has to track users. There you go. Snowden opts not to use the phone for professional reasons. Yes. Let the lawyer let you know whether or not to use an iPhone that the government can track you with is a personal choice. It is a personal choice. Yes, it is, and that is why I think I think I read somewhere that uh, about five billion people on planet Earth, sort of including yours truly, has a cell phone. Although my service contract ran out last week, so I, at the moment I have no cell phone. I understand that more people on planet Earth now have cell phones than have toilets. Uh, uh, reading that statistic. Now that statistic did make it into the mainstream media. More people with cell phones than toilets, which is too bad because that means they do not have a toilet to throw their smartphone into, which is where those little pieces of shit belong. But anyway, if you want to choose to be uh, tracked around the planet by the New World Order police state, that is your personal choice. I'm going to personally choose not to pack a cell phone and head out into paradise. Bye, guys.